Hi, I'm Toby Doyle. Hi, I'm Sheila Redling. And we're going to talk about choosing the right POV. Now, I will tell you my favorite advice for this mm -hmm. is read your genre. Absolutely. That's the easiest way to go. It doesn't mean you're a slave to it, though. Correct. You can always put your own spin on it. Some things to think about when I'm writing uh, a book. If I'm writing a cozy mystery, first person is great because we only see the clues as she finds them. And cozies, they're called cozies because, not just because it's a cozy setting, but we feel like that the amateur sleuth is our best friend. Yeah. So we, a first person really gets you in that character's head. A warning about first person, what is cute and funny and kind of snarky in 30 pages can become really grating in 300. That's true. So you really have to watch your tone with first person. Yeah, you, and yeah, make your character likable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so for mystery, I think that's a great reason to consider using it, but there's oodles of mysteries out there that are third person. I prefer to write in third person close, which means we only see through that character's lens, but it is still third person. In my Danny Britton series, it jumps from Danny's point of view to Booker's point of view and sometimes oh. to that's what Toby's favorite is it to is. a third character's point of view and you can do that a challenge there is each voice has to have a very distinctive tone of a distinctive voice so that you know when you what Danny is saying is going to sound different than what Booker is saying and I think I use that a lot too in romance. I mm -hmm. like to have, in romance, we try to do 50-50 from, well, if you're doing male, female, of course, if you're doing right. something more, at least <laughs> divided evenly among the characters in play. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but I like to do third person close because you get to know a little bit about the person and to do first person for each character, I don't enjoy, but some people do it really well. Yep. And YA, there's a lot that's in first person. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, read your genre. Do it. A, a great thing about third person close, uh, different points of view, is you can show the same scene and point out what different characters see in that scene. It's a great way to reveal character. And it's a great way to um, cover up those misunderstandings mm -hmm. or uncover those misunderstandings where the two characters don't know, but the reader does. And that's really fun. For more information, check out our website, askigw.com.